Hello, everyone. RBG Kim, get here back with more Ish Like a Dragon Ishin. In the previous video, we did uh, some friendship stuff with the Shady Merchant and, uh, yeah, and we handed in memoirs and such. Uh, but now we have a sub-story, finally, since we have enough memoirs. So we should be able to do two sub-stories here. So let's see what's happening. And I just noticed that behind us, there was uh, the people for the one guy. So there might be a continuation with that as well. Mm -hmm. That's unusual. Don't see Sato. Saito-san, thank goodness you're here. Saito-san... Saito-san is in trouble. Saito is? What happened? A group of Sono Joy's Sishi barged into the place and attacked him from behind. What? Where's Sato now? I don't know. They gave me a letter for you, Saito-san. And then they took him away. Ernest, all his life is in your hands now. Come to Mukurai ga Guy alone. Bastards. They hold him captive in Mukuro Guy. <gasps> no! They really took him somewhere that dangerous. Saito-san, if I may. For all of us, you've got to save Sato-san. Aren't you that regular I met? You drank with Sato a lot, huh? Yeah. And not just me. Everyone here considers him their best company. That's not because he pays for drinks. He's a good man. And they dragged him off right in front of us. We couldn't do anything to help him. It's not your fault. They were armed samurai. Still, I'm ashamed of myself. He's my friend. Mine too. And I was too frightened of what they might do if I spoke up. That was the right call. Any of you might have been killed if you tried to intervene. Saito, Saito san, please, please rescue him. Mm, I will, for all of you, and because Sato is my friend as well. Thank you, thank you so much. Be careful out there. Alrighty, there we go. Then we might as well go the long way. No time to waste. I'll get, I'll go to Mukuro guy and bring Sato back safely. Diplomacy and darkness. Isn't that... You're the woman who was being harassed by those lowlifes the other day, aren't you? Hey. Yes, and thank you so much for stepping in. I'm sorry I didn't thank you properly for that. I had just been told that my mother had passed out, so I was in the middle of rushing home. <laughs> oh, pay no worry to that. How is your mother, by the way? Well, I fetched the doctor right away, and thanks to his efforts, she's resting comfortably now. Oh, well, that's good news. Yes, but if I had been any slower bringing the doctor to my house, he says it would have been a tragedy. So if you hadn't stepped in when you did, you truly saved my mother's life. And I'll be ever grateful for that. I... I did? Yes. While you may not have gotten the upper hand in that fight, I think you were very heroic. I'll be sure to stop by again soon to truly thank you properly. Take care. Well, good for you. We never have a guy's name. He's just called the Batter Defender. Oh, it's you. You had said it was pointless for you to try your, for you to try helping people in need. But look what happened. You really are saving people out here. You know, you're right. So, what's next for the city's unofficial guardian? Well, I think I'm actually going to step back from patrolling the streets, at least for a little while. Really? What's that? I want to find a good dojo and start training properly. I've gone over that fight, but I still know I need to be stronger. That way I can help more people in need. Heh, <laughs> makes sense. Can't imagine what it's like to step in and help someone only to get my ass handed to me every time. Never happened to me. Uh, that's what you thought of me all along? You're so mean. I'm just kidding. Heh, <laughs> well, from now on, I'm going to do my best to protect the people without always turning to you. 
Should anyone ever give you trouble, though, just call for me, day or night. Until next time. I thought for sure he would end up being like a... Maybe he is. I honestly don't know. Because I feel like some of the people that I do for these, uh... Like these friendships or even like some of the sub-stories, they could be, uh... Uh... They could be people that can join my troops, you know? Oh yeah, we got a fucking- oh my god. We got a freaking badass sword, because it got upgraded for free. We just need the materials, and it can get upgraded again as soon as I get all the materials. Well worth it. I'm still like not I feel like where it should be even though I did try to do some swinging like I did but But yeah, so we might actually do some story depend on That's you. Now come come Mushubi. A daikon. Thanks, 
closer. That one definitely takes a while, though. All right, let's go back to Mukurai. He actually needed to see that Kino Beast Blade. Oh my god. That guy is, um... I think that guy was uh, a Nishikiyama family member in the first one. There you are, Saito Hajime-san. Third division captain, if I'm not mistaken. Are you the one who kidnapped Sato? Indeed I am. Tanaka Shinbei of Satsuma. Kawakami told me all about you. You were able to best his EI Jutsu. Not only that, you defeat Izo himself. You must be something truly special, I fell to butchers. Naturally, I had to see for myself. Let Sato go then. If I'm the one you want, you could have just come for me. That's true, I could have. Perhaps it was unseemly to lure you out here like this. The thing is, this man's no run of the mill foreigner. What the hell's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> Allow me to enlighten you. And if Sato here is. Dip is a diplomat sent straight to us to use con courtesy to us courtesy of the British Foreign Officer. You work for the government. You reports directly to the British Japan Consul Service. Of course, that's not all. His very mission is to gather intelligence for the British, make reports on our political climate, on the lives of our citizens. A foreigner creeping in Japan, looking for weaknesses, exploit when the inv invasion comes. He's even trying to reach the ear of Saigo Kichinosuke. He wants to manipulate my homeland. No, that's nothing like that, I swear. Of course, normally Japan and Britain are allies. So my hands are tied. I can't kill him. Unless you smuggle him to the dead man's quarter to bury the body. Precisely right. Mukuro guy is a den of shadows. No one's death here. Even a diplomat raises his eyebrows. And this way, I have a hostage I can use to force you to fight me. Draw your sword, Saito-san, or I kill this whimpering mole. You're disgusting. Fine. You want to fight? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything according to plan. Everything going according to Keikaku. Let's see that sword of yours. Now nah, you got my fist. Good. 
Okay, well, let me get up, you bastard. I've been enough to finish you. That was pretty good. No, this isn't possible. Back away. Retreat, damn it. Sorry, it took me so long. Came as soon as I heard. Now, now. Thank you, Saito san. Is it true? You work for the British. Sorry, I wasn't trying to keep it a secret. Exactly. It was just never the right time to bring it up. We're using me this whole time. All of us. Gathering our stories for your government. No! No, never! All my research was my own. It had nothing to do with my role as a diplomat. I love Japan. It began as curiosity. But the more people I met, the more I cared for this land as your home rather than as my simple fixation. I would never dream of using the stories you've all shared with me to hunt you in any way. Why do you still do it? Why have you come this far just to satisfy your interest? In truth, there's someone important I'd like to meet here. Someone who may be vital to Japan's future. And before I speak to him, I must become more knowledgeable. I don't understand. I don't think anyone would deny j that Japan is struggling right now. Remember what I mentioned before? How the quality of people's lives is plummeting from theft and cost of living. Everyone knows it, but so few are willing to do anything about it. Not like you, Saito-san. Y'all are one of the only people I've met who seems genuinely concerned with helping. But, I need someone of much greater power. Someone who can move mountains. There's only one man like that. Saito-san. Armies march to his say-so. All dominions wait on his command. Saigo Kijinosuke, huh? Is that what Tanaka was... Ta Tanaka was talking about earlier. Japan's overlong isolationism has weakened. It's lagging behind. Confrontation with global powers has plunged it into chaos. Unless this country stabilizes quickly, it will be overrun, conquered by nothing more, nothing more violent than Machiavellian treaties. If you try to fight back carelessly to allow your weakness to be exploited, my home country will make a colony of you all. You really think that could happen? Colonization? I do. And then, all this beautiful culture, and the people who would preserve it, will be erased from the Earth. This isn't paranoia, my friend. This is history. The way it's always been written. You think Saigo can prevent it all? The Satsuma Domen once warred with, warred with Britain. They were ferocious, despite the gap in military strength. We were moved by their resolve. Not a soul could doubt their pride and patriotism. I believe the leader of such a domain... Domain must have a truly unique outlook when it comes to his country's preservation. I have to speak with him to find out, to ensure Japan can protect itself. Well, you certainly got your someone's attention. Unfortunately, this time it wasn't Saigo's. Yet I can't stop now. To do so wouldn't, wouldn't merely be giving up on my dreams, 
by giving up on Japan. On Japan, huh? You're pr pretty serious guys when you're so guy when you're sober. Forgive my selfishness, Saito-san. I'm going to need more help from you. Find more memoirs from Japan Japanese folk. So you'll have more knowledge to bring to Saigo. It won't be easy, but if you really think that's the only way. Well, I've been learning a lot from these things too. I'll indulge you for a little longer. Oh, Barry, Barry Arigato. Did I say that right? I'll head to the Isakaya for now. Come find me when you've collected more accounts. All right, just watch your back from now on. Okay, goodbye, Saito-san. That was good. Alrighty. And that gave us, like I said, that gave us another... Oh, hold on, let's check our abilities first here. Increase the duration of Dragon Swing Sortie. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, ten, eleven. What? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, why the fuck does that have eleven? Did I? I must have. Maybe I held onto a train orb. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so for whatever reason, I gave that eleven a little early, so I guess we'll start here. We're so close to to the tiger drop. Just two more. Essence of the stop shooter. Kamaki Shadow Bind. See, I think I could probably take on Kamaki. Once I learn to Tiger Drop, I think I'll be able to take on Kamaki. Uh, okay. Let's try Intermediate. Oh, that was a deflection, damn it, okay. I think I can still get a silver, but let's see. Oh, that one was very fast. Oh my god. Yeah, if I didn't miss that one, I probably would have had a gold. Let's try that again. I want to try to get the gold. As long as I get these gold ones cut in half, that's fine. The 
This one I missed last time, I believe. Got it, though. Only one deflection. Not bad. Oh, two deflected? Ah, well. Sure, amazing. Let's do the gun one now. Fifty-five. Oh my god! Can I restart? Or right, here, let's quit. No, I... I barely got gold, but I got it. Shabonashi! Alright, that's good. Alright, well, let us go and... I know that the, uh... There should be another substory that opens up now since we did that one substory. So there should be like another substory that kicks off in that area. Oh, right, right, right. I forgot I was going to talk to the, the merchant. I was going to talk to the merchant when I got, uh... <laughs> Ah, you bastard.
I like that little block I had there. That was good. Man, about to collapse. It's weird how sometimes they will take, uh... It's weird how sometimes they'll have weapons that they don't, uh... Um... Like, that guy had a gun, but he didn't use a gun in, uh, in the fight. I mean, I guess that's why they're the hooded man. So you don't see they actually have a shot like that. Just to tide me over from fucking... Just to Yo, friendo. No deal. Forget that. Were you followed? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Alright. That's good. Some people have been sticking their noses where they shouldn't. Get yourselves a big whiff. Keep your head about you. The stuff I'm asking for this time is real danger zone material. And that, and that's actually dangerous. That's right. I'm talking lethal. I'm talking NATO. NATO? A great deliverer, yeah. I'm putting down three Rio Fort. That much, huh? When I open, friendo. Right. Not so, huh? Pretty sure I can get some over at the rice shop or fermented goods. Ah! Okay, well. I don't know where else I would get some. Actually, do I... Would that be something I'd hold in this, or would it be in one of these materials here? Let's see, fermented goods, or... Flower mill, he said. Okay, well, there's a flower mill right there. Hey, I remember you. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, you started training at a dojo, right? How's that going for you? Oh, yeah. I'm more determined than ever to protect the people and anything that makes them happy. Hey, I heard this rumor that you're recruiting new troopers. That's... Okay. Okay, that's why I thought. So it's one of those things where you finish the friendship first, and then you go talk to them, and then they could join you. Okay, yep. That you're recruiting new, new troopers. Is that true? I want to know. Mm. Oh, it's true. I see. I see. Well, my teacher at the dojo said the first step to get stronger is to just acquire some actual fighting experience. I was thinking of oh, the fucking X button. I appreciate that. Yes, I'm ready and able. Let's take out some bad dudes. Okay. Uh, I don't... Ah, see, yep, there's a substory right there. Um... What do I want? Oh, yeah, flower mill. Which was, like, right here. Yep, okay. Oh, all you are son is just not, uh, was, it's just that, huh? Where the fuck is the shrike shop at, then? I think there's a flower mill up here, isn't there? Oh, there's a rice shop, so... Did they say rice shop or fermented good? I'm pretty sure they said flour mill. Could be up there then. Uh, okay. Well, the thing here, here is a friend, so I can buy some stuff in here. Hmm. Everything alright? Ah! Uh, I have a bit on my mind today. Pay me no need. I'll buy five ginger then. 
Thank you as always. <sighs> Can I ask what's bothering you? Uh, it's just that our produce supplier should have arrived by now, but it seems he's a bit behind this week. I haven't been seen hide nor hair of him, I'm afraid. Unless that changes, I worry there'll be a shortage in our stock. Oh, I see. Well, that hope he comes through. Indeed, but I don't mean to trouble you with all this. Thank you for your patronage. Of course. Okay, well, first things first, let, I actually want to go to my place, because I'm pretty sure I should be able to harvest all that stuff there and such, so. Hey, boss, back to the house. Sure thing. Alright, uh, well, let's pray here first. Ah, uh, might as well use a storage. Ah, uh, never mind. I uh, guess I don't have that much. Bronze plate. Alright, what's up, Wander? Hungry. Hey, Bean. Some of the cabbage. Strawberries are going to take a little while. That's fine, though. Tomatoes a little bit there, so. Taro is going to take a while. So. That's fine. Like the interior. Uh, you know what? Let's make some food. Is there anything that I haven't made? Nothing I haven't made, so let's just make some.
Oh, they just had a salmon. Ah, I need some garlic. I think I've ever planted garlic, huh? I think one of the things is sending off three uh, homemade dishes. Ah, sure, might as well. Sakoi. This one goes a little bit faster. Yep. That still so good. This is part of the reason why my X button isn't uh, clicking so much. Because of that. Also, it might be because of Theorhythm, too. But. Dinner director. Just gotta cook five more times? Okay, that's fine. But I'm not gonna do that now. Broad bean. Garlic. Two types of melon. Oh, they need five. Ah, they want homemade pickles. How many do they want? Oh, just one? Completed. Oh, we only did two? I thought we did more. Oh, well. Oops, not time yet to give more.
Alright, let's, uh, what can I spend the virtue on? Second home, everything's good. Farm. Everything's good. Fishing's good. Function. Okay, that's so there. That's maximum level. So twenty-two thousand. Uh, I'm gonna assume that this shit's gonna be more, but I think that's all it is. Just those two, yeah. So that's probably what I'll spend next on those two things. I want to see the maximum levels, which the next ones after those could be the maximum level. So, all right, let's go do this sub story, and then I think that might be the end of the part here. Let's see though. I guess it all depends on how long it takes to do so. Sano stream is coming apart. Now I'm one with despair. La la la. La la la. I need to restrain the thing. Should just take a moment. Have to hurry. Have to move fast. La dee da. Oof. Damn it all! Huh? Come on, man! Don't you know better than to kneel down right in the middle of the road? Sorry about that. My sandal string. Oh, never mind. Are you hurt? Yeah, actually, really badly. I'll be alright, though. Just be more careful from now on, would you? I gotta go. Shit, I dropped a package. Is this it? Oh, yeah. Give it here. My apologies again. Seems like it's still all here. Right, well, I need to get this to Mukurai on the double. When that guy comes to tell him I'm sorry. See ya. He was really in a rush. Feel bad. Ouch. Ow. Seems like he's waking up. Are you alright? Sorry about just now. Jeez, she came out of nowhere. There's no way I could have avoided you. Bullshit! Huh? My package. Where is it? Your package? Is this it? Ah, that's the one. <laughs> Hope you can forgive me. It went flying. Hope it's still okay. Eh? Yeah? What the heck is this thing? What? This is a... It's a gun! So I know what you were expecting. Of course it isn't! My package contains something wonderful inside! How could it co how could its contents turn into this thing? Wait, now that I look at it. This package. I think I know what might have happened. Eh, <gasps> you do? Pray tell! Well, the other man that ran into me, he was carrying a package that looked like yours. Eh, <gasps> eh! <sighs> So, in all the confusion, our packages got switched. I think so. Well, la-dee-da! What am I supposed to do now? 
My wonderful package is out there in the hands of some gun-toting maniac. That package was something so stupendous. What am I ever to do? Mm, I admit, I'm curious why that other man was carrying a firearm. He mentioned he was going to Mukurai guy. Maybe we could catch up to him. Uh. Mukuro guy? The dead man's quarter? Skeleton Avenue? Bourne Boulevard? You want me to go there? Fine. This was my fault in the first place. I'll track him down for you and get your package back. <laughs> you will? Oh, thank you. You're a lifesaver. I'll take that to him if you don't mind. The six gun? Of course. You might need it for protection. Hang down that way. Yeah, no, I won't. You received the swapped package. The contents of my package are truly precious. You must return it to me, please. I understand. The other man had a gun bundled up in a parcel. Could he have been delivering it to someone? Because I had a Mukuro guy. Precious packages. And once I get all those memoirs, I'm just going to stop picking up items off the ground. Uh, is that on the second floor? Oh, that's the tournament. Wait, maybe he wasn't at Mukuro guy yet. Oh, no, right here. You're late. Have you brought it? Hey. R right here. That's him. The man whose package I accidentally swapped with someone else's. <laughs> <laughs> Lays in small arms, huh? The man's gone. Gonna be high for this baby. Mm. Yeah? Why does this bundle look so scuffled? Are the goods damaged? No, no, of course not. I. No, no. <laughs> oi, oi. What's this? Oh, no shit. Um. Well. The merchandise might have taken a tiny spill. Damn it, I told you to be careful, didn't I? Let's get a look at it. Forgive me, I'm sure it's alright on the inside. Mm -hmm. Seems okay. Oh, thank goodness. Like you expect the cutting edge technology, huh? Not even a scratch? What the hell? Talk about innovation. It's soft, gripple, and fits perfectly in the palm of your hand. Why? And if you get hungry while using it, you can just help yourself to a tasty bite! <laughs> With a weapon like this, no one can stand against me! You idiot! This is Chikuwawa! Huh? It couldn't be! But that smell! Fish paste, egg, cooked on a bamboo stick! It is Chikuwa! Are you jerking my chain here? Where are the guns? I... I don't know! Better find out fast. If you still care about your little girl, that is. Danny! Oyuki! This guy was playing with us from the start. Let Sam and his daughter both to hell. Please, this is a mistake. Do what you want with me, but spare o Oyuki. I beg you. Stop right there. Who the fuck is this? I'll need that package you're holding. It contains something very important to someone. Okay. Huh? No way am I handing this over to some shit dick stranger. The Chikuwa is mine. What? Chikuwa? See? 
really is Chikua. Mm, aren't you? The guy I ran into before. Oh, now I see. You two are on this con together. Now this shit's starting to make sense. You never have the spine to betray us on your own. Eh? No, you've got it all wrong. Piss off, girly. It's time to settle this with violence. <laughs> oh boy. Okabe Adachi So we've had Okabe and Adachi Daddy! Oh, Oyuki! Oyuki! I don't know how to thank you. What are you doing here? You and the other man were both carrying similar packages. When we all bumped into each other, they got switched. Oh, I see. So that's how a gun became a flavorable fish cake. My name is Saiki. I'm a traitor. A traitor? Right. Those men were extorting me. They kidnapped my daughter, so they had no choice but to smuggle arms for them. Because of you, though, those criminals won't get their hands on any guns. You've done a lot of good today. There's still one thing left to do. And you see both packages return to their rightful owners. You return to the swap package. Of course. Here's the one you gave me originally. Turn with my regards. You retrieve the swap package. Thank you, Samurai. Oh, thank you, Samurai-san. Oiki, <laughs> thank you for saving me, mister. Uh, glad things worked out. All right, now to bring this back where it belongs. I'm surprised. After all this talk about how important the package was to him, just some chikua. Seems excessive. Hmm, does look pretty good. No, I have to return this. This Chikawa means a lot to him. I shouldn't deprive him of it. Why would I eat it? That's just low, and Ryoma wouldn't do that. Besides, my reward might be better for it without having to take a little nibble. Go to Fushimi. My package! You actually brought it back to me! Um, yeah. Return the swap package. <laughs> At last! I hope it's still okay. <laughs> it's all here! All of it! Thank you so much! I have to admit, from the way you spoke about it, I expect more than just Chikawa to be inside. What's better than Chikua? I don't know what I'd done if you had come back. Without my Chikua, I'm nothing! I see. Here, it doesn't begin to compare to Chikua, but I want you to have this. Great serpent skin. Goodbye! Things I get wrapped up in when I don't pay attention. Still, at least I was able to help out that father and daughter. That's not such a bad thing. Precious packages. I like that. All right, guys. There's only three sub uh, four sub stories left, right? Ninety-four percent. Yep, four sub stories left. Got one here. 
technically two here, but we at least know what one of them is. Actually, we know what both of them are. The next one's this Parala one. And then this one is tied to uh, getting more memoirs. This one, I don't understand. We should have actually been getting this one already, but maybe I gotta level my stuff up, or maybe I just gotta advance a little more in the, uh, in the chapter here. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for this part of Let's Play Like a Dragon Ishin. In the next part, guys, it's gonna be story, because it's it's going to be a lot of story from now on until nighttime comes around. Then we can do that uh, one in Mukuro guy. But thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give the like button and click. And comment down below what you liked about the video, didn't like about the video. And let me know, guys, what do you think of all these sub stories? The Precious Package one was actually a really good one, in my opinion. I don't know why I had to have done that diplomacy in the dark. Um, probably because of the... Um, probably because of the... Uh, um the uh black not black market but like the shady deals and all that stuff going on that's probably why i had to do it but yeah no uh i'm actually curious uh, how you guys felt about all of them because I, I thought they were all good but yeah let me know how you guys feel about it. and as always guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat as you got the main channel too that's in the description below as well as follow me on twitter let me eat something here first and then i will red wine with ice As well as follow me on Twitter, both my main Twitter and the RPG Kingdom Kid Twitter are in there too. I want to thank y'all so much for watching once again. And I will see you all next time.